Hello fellow scooter followers. Um, here it is, the T112 Plus from Shenzhen FLJ Technologies. And this thing is a brute. Um, let's get down to the nitty gritty. It comes with two 2800 watt motors. So in theory, a combined power of 5600 watts. This is just remarkable. I mean, I know scooters come with this these days, but it comes with two hydraulic disc brakes, CNC machined. That's, you know, 160 millimeter disc brakes as well. Off-road terrain tires, front and rear. Uh, these are, it's, it's sold as 11 inch, which is surprising because it's actually 90, 65, 6.5 tires, which are 12 inch. So I'm not going to argue. These are 12 inch tires, basically. Um, dual controllers, front uh, and rear separate controllers. And again, 160 millimeter disc brake on the front and um, hydraulic disc brake controller. It came with, um, well, I requested two front angel lights and they worked perfectly, but they were, they glowed red on the outside. So I didn't want that. I replaced these immediately with um, normal white glowing headlights and added for an extra bling, a bit of, um, bit of extra power on the top handlebars so not only comes with a standard tail light but also brake light as well it will take about a month to arrive um, to Europe and unfortunately it did arrive with a slight breakage in the um, hydraulic cable that operates the uh, rear brake but um, FLJ was so good, they replaced this and arrived with one week, no quibbles. The problem was, I've never bled a brake system before, uh, not a hydraulic system of this nature, and there's only one valve on the rear caliper. So that was a challenge in itself, but it was you know, quite an easy task once you put your mind to it and get a little bit of uh, kit from Amazon at uh, uh, £10 or something. Whilst I had the scooter apart, I thought I'd also add a uh, DC-DC converter and put a attractive GPS tracker unit in there as well, just in case the worst happens and it's stolen. The other thing I did was um, the blinking lights that are uh, common in most of these scooters, which I do like on occasions, but I chose to add a waterproof toggle switch just here. So I now have the choice of switching them on or off and they go on both sides and they kind of look good in the right environment but now I've got the choice of on or off there you go just another little extra I added most scooters now come with the um, C type suspension at the front and this does actually seem to work in terms of taking out the um, bumps and lumps in the road and it's, as it a, takes a bit of getting used to to ride for the first time this sort of reverse um, suspension type thing it's a heavy scooter, I'm not going to lie, it's really bloody heavy. Um, and it comes with a 35 amp hour battery. If you know your Ohm's law, you'll remember that power equals current times volt. And this is a 35 amp hour battery. So, and times that by 60 volts, you're getting just over 2000 um, watts of true power, continuous power. Which means you can run it for one hour at full power. But you can ride it for several hours at less than full power, obviously. The other thing to note, um, people complaining that um, it's, these things, that, that this rear tail oh, mudguard breaks, it does not break. This is bolted on and welded on. And it, in fact, there's a sticker that says no trampling, which I guess means no wheelies, no, don't have any passengers sitting on there. Some scooters have these struts here, totally unnecessary. This thing is not going anywhere. It's not going to snap off. The other thing that's noteworthy, the change of suspension here, it's gone for the single shock here, which is basically a giant spring um, with some grease in, uh, in, inserted internally. So no adjustment necessary, but you can't do it. That is good, I like that. You can't go wrong with a single strut suspension. That's all you need. Don't overkill it. And the same on the front here. I mean, 
The dual trons are fantastic. You can adjust the suspension accordingly by different cushions and what whatnot. And if you've got a dual tron, brilliant, lovely scooters. But this takes it back to raw machinery, fast motors, powerful battery, reliable controllers. It takes it back to the basics, basically. This is what I like about this machine. So this T112 scooter comes with two remote key fobs to set the alarm lock the scooter. A user manual, which is actually really, really good, well written, um, well translated, and a 12 month warranty. So, and the service you get from um, FLJ Shenzhen uh, is really good. So you'll find here um, the traditional type throttle control, um, obviously the dual single motor control eco turbo boost, um, just keep it in turbo all the time. And um, here I've added some extra bling. This is the standard lights, light setting here, look. So they have a single light flashing full <coughs> horn and I've added the extra top set of lights here. Basically do the same thing, just much, much brighter. Um, so use them in dark rows only. So it went straight to 99 kilometers an hour. Um, but it comes with a safety feature in that you can't engage the front uh, dual motor without taking your hand off there. So if you press the throttle down, pressing the dual motor is not going to uh, have any effect until you release the throttle. The speeder reads 99 kilometers an hour. Obviously, that is offload. That's as far as the speeder will go.